everybody, it's your boy named Jarvis Davis and today is time for a story time about my life, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Before YouTube, alright? So let's start it off like this, you know what I'm saying? Back in 97, started watching anime and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Then my mom and my brothers was raising me and it was just like, feel like I was being left out sometimes at certain points. Uh, started doing YouTube back in 2010, man, 2010. Um, then, through 2010, I was really wanting to do YouTube, and then after that, let's go back in 2009. Ooh, man, 2009 is when I covered, um, Tac 9 started listening to Tac 9 you know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, it was a big shopper, you know what I'm saying? Then I... Man, it's just so much, you know, in between 2009 to 97 to 98 and stuff like that. It was just like watching Dragon Ball Z when it was coming on and stuff like that. Play Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 2. I was in my room playing a game and I was just like, Resident Evil 2 was a hard ass game. I couldn't even beat the game, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, after, after that, you know what I'm saying? It was a channel called Jarvis Davis 12. It was my very, very first channel of any channel I made that was my very first channel and then 2012 came up it was just like I started making Jarvis Davis game in HD you know what I'm saying I was into video games you know what I'm saying and then I started coming from Jarvis Davis TV I was like wow this is lit you know what I'm saying then it was just another channel called Jarvis Davis and then boom that that got hit with a copyright and copyright strike and it was gone and stuff like that but on a daily basis y'all I'm a really cool good person you know what I'm saying like if y'all see me don't mind to walk up to me you know what I'm saying and, you know it's just it's all about positivity but at the same time I don't like people walking over me taking me my mind for weakness and stuff like that you know what I'm saying which that's not cool you know what I'm saying and I try to be like really really cool as a good person how my mom and my dad and my brothers raised me and stuff like that coming up and stuff like that you know what I'm saying so I'm a really if y'all see me in person y'all be like yeah that's cool you know dap me up have a great time and stuff like that you know what I'm saying and I've been like a really like a really really good person you know what I'm saying if y'all like see me if y'all see me in Houston you know come up to me if you want to come up to me it's cool dab have a great time you know what I'm saying stuff like that you want to play video games it's cool that's just the type of person I am you know what I'm saying this is a number one rule you know what I'm saying when my mama taught me never ever let money rule you never don't do it it's not it ain't nothing good it's brainwashing and stuff like that you know what i'm saying that's just me that's just how i was raised up everybody else is different yeah it's cool to have money yeah it's all right but you know what i'm saying does it do it does it is it worth it though you know what i'm saying that's just how my mom was being my dad was speaking is it really worth it? having all these good things and nice things and all this extra stuff yes it's cool you know what i'm saying would you abandon your friends that's up to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Me, I would never do that, you know what I'm saying? Just that simple, you know what I mean? But, um, see, I like anime, I like video games, I like computers, I like I like electronic stuff, you know what I'm saying? It start, Like I said, it started in 97, and thanks to my brother Jim, man, and a couple of my friends, that the fact that I was getting into anime, I was getting into video games, and I was just like, over the years, I was processing and stuff like that and it was really really cool you know what I'm saying and also um, another story thing that I wanted to announce that it was 2007 me and Matrice was going together and stuff like that which is still a shout out to her you know what I'm saying she was the original person I was doing reaction videos and then doing reviews and unboxing then my little homeboy Quincy came in and stuff like that then they wanted more people to come in and stuff like that you know what I'm saying which is really nice you know what I'm saying but on a daily basis, I love traveling. I love, I guess I, I, I get it from my dad because he loved traveling, you know what I'm saying? So that's, you know what I'm saying? And the layback comes from my mom, you know what I'm saying? Just sit back and just chill and stuff like that. And then my dad, he just, he, he, he'll be like, want to go somewhere. Like go out, eat, go to the movies and do this and do this and do that and do that. Boom, 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 boom. That's where I got that from, from my dad, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, wow. I see why I keep I keep it going and keep it moving and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And I try to block out negativity and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It gets to me, but once it gets to me, it's just like, okay, forget it. I have to know how to block stuff out and just don't worry about the drama and don't worry about the fake stuff and, 
You know what I'm saying? I, I care for my friends. I care for y'all. I would not be doing YouTube if it wasn't for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But a long time ago, I just made an account and then boom, I just started. And then I had to know how to edit videos and stuff like that. And then boom, boom, boom. And stuff. It's just, oh my god, it's just so much stuff. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation, computers, cameras. All that stuff, microphones, how to edit videos all together and do all this extra stuff. Have so much fun, you know what I'm saying? And when you drink, I mean, not when you drink, yeah, 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 my bad. See, when you dream about stuff and you put it to reality, boom, there you go, you know what I'm saying? It's just that simple, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I said in my other video, that the fact that I like Bone Thugs and Harmony music, Tac 9, Zero, NWA, that's the type of music I like. I get in my car, so I jam into some music, and then that's it. Oh, yeah, it's my. My other one that I like is Riggs and Brother Lynn Chun, you know what I'm saying? Incest Crew and Michael Jackson and any other old school music, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, man, they had the, man, the beats was just off the chain. Oh, yeah, and I saw Eminem, you know what I'm saying? But the, the main thing, what who I grew up on was Bone Thugs and Harmony. Simple. Big Mo, Big Hawk, you know what I'm saying? My brother Jeremy was listening to uh, Zero. And I was, you know, when you're a kid, you'd be like, who, who is that? I was like, hey, that's just me when I was a kid. I was like, who is that? Then I started listening to his music a little bit, but I was listening to Bone Thugs and Harmony a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Back in 97, in my room. I was in my, literally in my room, playing Resident Evil and play, and listening to Bone Thugs and Harmony with headphones on, you know what I'm saying? Just sitting back chilling, ain't bothering nobody, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I get that from, you know what I'm saying? Now, sometimes I like space and I like distance from people because from people, I don't like doing no drama, I don't like doing this and all that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? And people be like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. It is what it is, man. That's just me, you know what I'm saying? And um, my mama is a really good, good person, you know what I'm saying? She got a lot of friends and stuff like that. They do they, you know how them old school be jamming and be things and stuff like that and having a great time and stuff like that. And my dad, like I told you, my dad, he just loved traveling and that's where I get it from, you know what I'm saying? And simple, you know? He liked the music, he liked music and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, my computer is right, every time I look over here, I look at my computer and be like, all oh, the editing and the software I have on my computer, you know what I'm saying? It's right, it's right here, it's right here, y'all. I don't have to lie, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, it's just, it's just like, never, you only live one time, y'all, that's it. Just appreciate everything that you have. Seriously, it's very important. I'm getting the message to everybody. You only live one time, you can't get it back. You know what I'm saying? That's serious, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how my mama raised me. You live one time, each and every day, thank God that you actually here, making moves and having a great time with life itself. You know what I'm saying? Driving, playing games, doing activities, playing football, playing basketball, and all that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's very important, you know what I'm saying? And I remember back then, I used to play football and basketball with my friends, and it was just lit, you know what I'm saying? And it was just so much fun. It wasn't no negative, it ain't no drama, it wasn't no money involved. I was just having a great time, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. You know, the girls was watching us playing basketball, playing football, and all this extra stuff, and it was fun, you know what I mean? It was just so much, yo. You know, listening to the music, having the music up loud. People, was, while we was playing basketball, everybody know, while we was playing basketball, I think I was just always thinking about music, you know what I'm saying? Just music, Bones doesn't want the music. Ready to go home, get on the game, and play music, you know what I'm saying? It was just so much fun, you know? And it was just like, man, it's just, you ever have a great moment when you used to just be a, around your group of friends and just have fun playing basketball, playing football, listening to music, playing video games and stuff like that, and have your homegirls come over, watch movies and stuff like that. That's 100% raw, you know what I'm saying? But now, getting older now, you know what I'm saying? Can't even do that too much, you know what I'm saying? Cause my friends, they got their own cars, they got their own, you know, they travel too. They like to have a good time as well, you know what I mean? And it's just, man, just go back and play video games. And you know, some of my friends still play video games, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah, man, I remember it was one game that we used to play was Dragon Ball Z. It was on PlayStation 2. 
Dragon Ball Z, I think, Infinite World or something like that. I think it was a, and I was just like, this game is tight. Me and my homeboy, DeMarcus, was playing the game, bro. I wish I could have recorded, but I didn't have no camera at the time. But I remember me and him used to play the video game. It was lit. It was it was just so much fun, you know what I'm saying? And also, another thing, and this is just me. This is me about my life, y'all, how I was playing video games and stuff like that. I'm just, just letting it, I'm just putting it out there, just that simple, you know what I'm saying? So... Somebody, like I said, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I forgot. Somebody on Twitter and Instagram asked me to do a story time about my life. How how did I get into this stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Now, I got a whole lot, a whole lot. It go from Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Iyasha, Pico, Gundam Wing, man, Johnny Bravo, all that stuff, man. That, that's just me, you know what I'm saying? This Ed Ed and Eddie, come on now. It, it, ain't, it don't stop from animation now. I mean, it, it's, just, it's, just, it's just dumb, you know what I'm saying? Now, I remember my brother, I think it was, yeah, 22. Dragon Ball Z came on. I say, I asked my brother, I say, Jim. He like, yeah, what's up? What's that? I was like, bro, that's Dragon Ball Z. I say, wait, what? Ever since then, I've been... Been on Dragon Ball Z, bro. Simple, you know what I'm saying? Simple. I was just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, dang. Then I covered Star Wars. Star Wars came out on 61 on television. Watched the movie. It was freaking lit, bro. I liked that. I was just like, the lightsabers and all the editing. I was just like, as a kid, I was like, wow. A kid or a teenager, one of them, I was like, wow, this is tight. You know what I'm saying? This is freaking raw. And then years the game started coming out i'm just like man star wars battlefront one and two came on playstation two i think something like that i'm just like wow this is this is lit you know what i'm saying so i grew up from a lot of things of having fun having great times raised up with positive family members you know what i'm saying stuff like that because that's very important you know what i mean and hey if y'all want a story time part two let me know in the comments below you know what i'm saying at least that's being said, if you actually enjoyed this video, let your boy know, man. And also, the process, and the process of the other channel gonna be coming out. But, if this account do not get terminated, y'all, yo, I will keep the channel, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's always having fun, hey, 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 yo. At least that's being said, I am out. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out. Yeah.